So this is a follow-up to my video last year that I made, which was kind of combining a bunch of out-of-the-box components and doing a 101 beginner's guide to circuit bending. And one of the questions that I've gotten a lot in the comments and DMs is, do I need a CRT TV and a camera to record the output of the circuit bending box? And I'm back here today with a tested solution that allows you to record directly back into your computer with the output from your circuit bending box. So let's jump into the signal path right away. So I'm gonna start out with this in the simplest form using just one computer that is both outputting as well as recording. But I would say if you have access to two computers and you can split up where the signal is coming from, that would definitely be the best way to run it. So let's look at the signal path. Coming out of my MacBook Air is a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 to HDMI. And then we're going into this little box which converts from HDMI to RCA output. And that's powered via USB. And we're taking that RCA output into the circuit bending box that I've got right here. This is just the one that I use. You can buy, there are a bunch of different models out there, but this is the box that I use for what I'm doing here. And then that's got an RCA output, which is going into another one of these very similar looking boxes that it just does the reverse. It converts RCA back to an HDMI digital signal. And that is going into a little HDMI capture card, which I made a video on earlier using it to use my cinema camera as a webcam for Zoom. But now we're just taking that HDMI signal, converting it back, and it's going through a USB to USB-C hub because welcome to the USB-C future where everything needs a dongle. And that's going right back into my MacBook Air. I've got my display settings over here because I'm actually, I've got the HDMI output that's going to the converter box set as a separate display. Um, and you can see this is QuickTime Player. This is showing me what is coming back from the circuit bending box. So if I go over here, I go over here and I start to mess with the knobs and I spin through settings. You can start to see things are changing. And so that is showing me the result of the circuit bending and being recorded there. And then I've got my display settings set up right over there. I can just click record, no problem. You don't have to use QuickTime Player. You can use whatever your favorite thing is. But again, this is just getting you set up with the simplest way to get started. And with all of this, and just like I said in the last video, this signal path is just one that works for me. You can add and remove components, you can try out different things in the way, and each of those things contributes to giving you a completely unique look. So there you go, there you have it. Um, I'm keeping a little somebody here away from all the cords because you can see it's quite a mess, but there you go. That's just another way that you can create some cool analog textures that are totally unique to whatever the project is that you're working on. Just have fun with it. Make stuff up, make cool stuff. All right, Gidget? And keep your cats away from the wires. I'll see you in the next one. All right, Drew, do your magic.